We always talk about what we carry in our pockets. I've even talked about what's in my truck, but very seldomly do we talk about backpacks and what we carry in them. I have a list of 10 items that every single backpack ever should have in them. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. So as I mentioned recently, I have actually updated my backpack and this is the one that I've been carrying for, I don't know, a month, month and a half. This is the Big Idea Design TI backpack. And if you're wondering why it's TI, it has little titanium accents like this buckle, this one, and also the buckles here. That may or may not matter to you, uh, but the backpack itself is really nice. Big Idea Design is the sponsor of this video, but the backpack itself is not exactly why we're here. I wanna to talk to you about the stuff that I keep inside mine. This is not everything I carry inside it, but 10 things that I think everybody should have. So number one, I've, I talk about this pretty frequently. This is a toolkit that just travels between all of the things. This usually lives in my truck, but it can be attached to my belt. And obviously I've thrown it in my backpack. It just kind of travels to where I feel I need it the most at the time. And I just have a bunch of different things in here. Uh, a screwdriver, headlamp, pliers, another flashlight. This is just a little mobile toolkit. I've also often talked about in the past a knife maintenance kit because I work on knives all the time, cleaning them, tightening them, fixing them, sharpening them. So I carry a toolkit like that too. So I have multiple toolkits everywhere. Uh, another example of something you could do is just a little toolkit like this that's got a few essentials. Another screwdriver, Knipex, uh, good pair of scissors, a little knife maintenance thing that's got a hone and a strop on it, a wrench, just a small set of tools for light duty work. But I think at the very least, you should have a multi-tool in your backpack. I carry one in my pocket now, a full-size multi-tool like this Leatherman Arc now, but maybe you want something smaller in your pocket like a Swiss Army knife. Carrying a full-size multi-tool in your backpack is a really good way to have both on hand, but one's just nearby, not always in your pocket. The point is, number one, a toolkit or at the very least, a multi-tool. So I used to carry a, a battery pack in my bag. I would often work at coffee shops and stuff and I would just bring a power bank with me, but I, I don't really like doing that anymore for a number of reasons. So what I always have in my bag is a charger like this. We just recently talked about this one in my gift guide. This is the Basis 100 watt GAN charger. So you have two USB-C ports as well as two USB-A and collectively they can charge at 100 watts but you also get two additional plugs. So up to here, it's an extension cord and then your charger is everything beyond that. And it's really neat. And the one thing I really like about it is if you're at like a coffee shop or something, sometimes they have just loose outlets and one that sits in the wall will fall out. This one has an extension built in, does make it a little bulkier, but for me, this has been way better than the one I used to use. But the second piece of the puzzle is this right here. So this is from Uni. And this is a 15 foot USB-C cable. Uh, it's also high data transfer as well. It's not quite Thunderbolt 3, but look at this. Actually, Ricky, can you grab one end? Just hold it right there at the edge of the table. Point is, you can be at a coffee shop and you're not gonna find a coffee shop that's so big that with both of these together, you can't charge your device. It always sucks going somewhere and having a plug that you can't reach. Uh, so with these uni cables, I buy a bunch of these for USB-C, I have them for lightning, and I keep probably two or three here at the office and one or two in my bag and maybe one at home because this is the best thing ever. They're a little more expensive, obviously, but so, so worth it. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Big Idea Design. You guys probably are already familiar with them for their titanium pocket tools like the TPT slide, Bitbar inline, and if you're not, you really should be. You're really missing out. They also make some of the best EDC pins out there, and they've also made this titanium watch, which is on my wrist almost every single day. But that's not why we're here talking about Big Idea Design. We're here to talk about their latest venture, they're always expanding, and now they have a backpack, the TI EDC backpack. The bag is made out of highly water resistant material and comes in a heathered gray or black. It features titanium hardware on the straps and the hook for the roll top, and it has a very sleek and minimalist design aesthetic. It's a 25 liter semi-rigid construction backpack that comes with all sorts 
of organization to keep all your gear neat and tidy. Primarily, this organization comes from a gear tray that has inbuilt organization cubbies that can be customized and molded to suit your gear exactly like a camera bag. However, if you don't want the tray or don't want it in certain situations, you can just remove it quickly. It's really, really neat. Of course, there's a tech pocket around back to hold and protect your larger items like tablets and laptops. And there are tiny zip pockets all around for storing smaller items like your wallet or a passport or titanium pocket tools. And there are even some pockets on the straps to clip items like a flashlight or a pen to. But one of the coolest features of this backpack is the dry bag compartment up front for when you need extra space or want to separate things like dirty gym clothes from the rest of your stuff. This roll top pouch adds an additional 10 liters of space on the fly. I've been carrying the TI EDC backpack for over a month now, every single day, and I really, really enjoy it a lot. It's comfortable and it has plenty of space and organization for everyday use and even travel and the ability to expand the storage space on the fly or even better, remove that entire tray in just one go is something I never knew I needed in a backpack. So if you wanna check out the TI EDC backpack in further detail and maybe even buy one for yourself, hit the link in the description down below that will take you to their Kickstarter campaign, which is currently running. It's also funded, so it's gonna happen, but if you wanna be among the first to get one yourself and get some money off MSRP, hit that link down below. And once again, I wanna thank Big Idea Design for sponsoring this video. So my truck EDC gift guide, I talked about this right here, and this is just a, a pouch that you can put anything in, um, but a first aid kit, right? This is a little bit too big for a backpack for every single day for me, and it's more of like, a pretty severe trauma kit, not a full on first aid, but you know, it's got essentials in it. This is not gonna go in my backpack every day, but it's something I grab for a hike or something like that. More backpack sized is something like one of these. So this is the MyMedic EDC trauma kit. So you got some rubber gloves as chest seal. You have a tourniquet and some quick clot. Uh, this is for obviously more serious boo-boos. This is more of a just EDC kit, Adventure Mini EDC. It's got a few different uh, sterile pads, nitrile gloves, gauze, uh, band-aid pack, sting swab, prep pads, face mask. So something like this, or just a little boo-boo kit that's kind of this same thing, but that you build yourself in a pouch. All right, so band-aids, antacids, aspirin, hand sanitizer, things of that nature. Just a small little first aid kit for bumps and bruises or depending on how serious you think things might get. But I think at the very least, just a small little first aid kit in a small pouch like this that you can tuck away and grab. And I recommend something that is very obvious at a quick glance what uh, it is. A first aid kit that's black and red, has a cross on it, whatever. I actually had a, pat a patch, I don't know where it went. Um, and I would recommend something like this to go on your zipper pull. So a glow nut, it's a very, very, very bright glowing, glow in the dark bead, or some of these Lumi mods, just so that if you quickly shine a flashlight down in your bag or something, this thing's gonna continue to glow and make it easier to find. I think anything that helps it easier to find is better. Anyway, a first aid kit is item number three. So I always carry a flashlight in my pocket, have every day for years and years and years but I always keep one in my backpack as well. And typically it's something a little bit bigger like this. So this one I've actually been carrying in my pocket, but I have two of them. So I have one in here, which is a charging case. This can also be used as a, uh, a lantern, which is really cool. Uh, but I could have one in my pocket and then swap it out with one in the bag. But typically my, my backpack flashlights are a little bit beefier and maybe something that has a double-sided clip so I can stick it to my hat and use it as a headlamp. Uh, Cause my, my typical EDC flashlight is gonna be more AAA sized. So for a truck light, we're looking at more like CR 123As or AA size flashlights or even 18350 or, you know, bigger diameter batteries means bigger flashlight and better run times and brighter outputs. I just use a, or keep a more high powered flashlight in my bag. Cause I don't want something this big and chunky in my pocket every single day. So I tend to have a better or a backup flashlight in my bag. Next up is this item right here. And typically I have a pin also clipped to that. But anyway, number five is a pocket notebook of sorts. So this is a Tough Possum Gear notebook holder as well as right in the rain. And then I have a pen clipped to it. 
And for me, I don't really take a lot of handwritten notes. I just showed you the first page. I can show you any page in here. This is actually not written in. Uh, and I don't write down a lot of things because I am an avid phone note taker. But if your phone's dead, if you need to leave a note for somebody, you need to write something down for someone, whatever it is, having a piece of paper and a pen is something that a phone can't really replace. So I keep this in my backpack. It's not something I'm gonna carry in my pocket, but there are also a million other options. So here's one that's very similar from Arc Company, except for it has outside gear slots and you could even maybe even use this as a wallet. Uh, I did forget to mention, I keep my lockpick set in the back of this. But you could keep cards in here. I know Jaybird uses this as his actual wallet. Uh, so uh, you could do the same with this, right? You've got gear pockets, a card pocket on the back, and then this one, same deal, but you have an elastic pin loop and card slots on the inside. So if you want something that's a little more pocket friendly, maybe one of these. And then of course, this is where my flashlight came out of. This is the Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Pro. It can hold a knife, pen, flashlight, and a full size field note. So that's my only complaint with, with these. It's that these are more like right in the rain or really mini notebook sized. This is a full size notebook, but of course you have to take that notebook out to use it. And then Hitch and Timber has several different options as well that'll hold a full size field notes or, or really anything smaller. Um, and then you could also put cards and other gear in here as well. And that's the trucker's hitch. So pocket notebook with a pen or even a bigger notebook because you're carrying it in your bag. So if you want something a little bit bigger, that's also the option. But a pen and notebook is item number five. The next item, which I keep right beside that notebook, it would be really good to put is some cash this right in here, here, which I never even think of. But just in case you leave your wallet at home, you can still get by with, with the cash and maybe like a Google Pay or Apple Pay is typically how I pay anyway, but you can put cash and have your backup cards in here and still get by if you leave your primary this wallet. This is home. another pouch from Zero Feud, and this is my backup wallet. I used to keep more like tools like a Swiss Army and stuff in here, but this is literally just a secondary wallet. And why a secondary wallet? Well, it houses my credit cards and debit cards that I don't use as much, membership cards, cards that I don't use very regularly. I have them inside this pouch. So I have my daily wallet that stays in my pocket. And then I have all the overflow stuff. That's how I keep my wallet so slim because realistically I have like 15 cards. I don't want to carry those in my wallet every single day. So I keep this one in my backpack and it's nothing like super important or anything that I'd be really upset about losing. But uh, Ricky actually earlier today had a good point. But I think it's very smart to have a second wallet in your backpack or your truck, wherever you think it's better, but I typically keep it in my backpack because my backpack is usually where I am. So secondary wallet that's got all the overflow stuff I don't want in my main wallet. And I like this zip pouch because I can put some small things in here if I need to. Um, the, the Arc Company Boulder wallet would be another good contender for this because you can do kind of the same thing, secondary stuff and store a few other things if you need to. But yeah, secondary wallet is a must. A lot of people ask why I don't carry a handkerchief anymore. And the main reason is I just, I don't want it in my pocket. I just don't. So I keep it in my backpack or in uh, another pouch or bum bag. But a multi-use cloth is item number six. Something that either has microfiber on it or can be used to wipe things. This is a, a extra large hank. It's got nice microfiber on the back. And then this, if you really needed to, you could wipe stuff with this side. But for me, another option I really hate that these guys aren't in business anymore and I hesitate to even show this, but this thing is really cool. This is a giant merino wool handkerchief slash scarf slash mini blanket slash whatever. This was uh, something that was sent to me before my daughter was born by North by North. And uh, several times this ended up just being a quick blanket for her. I would carry this around. It was a blanket. I wiped up all sorts of things with this thing. And it can also be used as a scarf if you need. We saw Casey Dimming of Georgia Bushcraft and Griffin Pocket Tool running around in the cold about a month ago wearing this as a scarf. Um, and we were talking about how much of a tragedy it is that North by North no longer exists, but hopefully somebody still out there can make or does make a merino wool. It's just a piece of merino wool, right? So hopefully somebody makes a handkerchief or scarf like this, but at the very least like a hank like this with some microfiber. They're ultimately very, very useful for wiping screens and all sorts of other stuff. If you have glasses, sunglasses, 
These are way, way better. Camera lenses, there's a lot of uses for a handkerchief like this. And I personally don't like having them in my pocket, so goes in the bag. So the next item I typically always have clipped right here on my bag on the top handle or right here, just somewhere that it fits and can stay nearby. Uh, and this is a hero clip. A carabiner is the point, the item that I'm recommending, but in particular, this hero clip is awesome. I got one of these a long time ago for an unusual EDC video and it's awesome. So effectively what this is, is a hanger for your bag. Uh, if you're going, say, let's say you have to go to the bathroom and you don't want your bag on the floor, you can clip this to that handle and then hang this on the door or a hook. You can hang it anywhere. This rotates around and allows you to hang your bag almost anywhere. Tree branch, like they're, they're very, very useful and you can use them for so many other things too, right? Hanging a trash bag at your campsite, whatever you might need it for. So the Hero Clip is really, really awesome. But the reason I say carabiner, zip ties, that's really kind of the whole item is something to tie stuff up, tie things together. This one, for example, is the Model Outdoors Infinity Tool. I also got this one for an unusual EDC gear video. Same deal, still carrying it, still use them. Both really, really awesome. This one is just a longer version of the same thing. And this is a soft carabiner. That's all it is. And you can adjust the length of it just by unhooking it and hooking it back in. So each one of these is a way, like a tie down point. Um, and you can hook it in different ways. You can bring this up through the middle and hook it this way and use it as say a cable tie. These things are almost infinitely useful. Um, and if you have smaller wrists than me, you can use them as, you can wear it as a bracelet, but they're a little bit too tight for my wrist. And this is just a larger version of it and same deal. You can loop this thing around and do a whole lot of different stuff with it. And these are glow in the dark as well. If you hit these with UV, they glow really, really bright. And for a long time, especially if they're outside all day, but you can use them to tie stuff down in your truck bed, wherever. They're really, really awesome. And they don't take up a lot of space and because they're malleable, they can kind of just get shoved into a pocket. But in my bag, I always have zip ties, always, always. And I like having both like black nondescript and then bright colors, bright colors in case I need something to kind of be flagged and you can show, like you can see something at a glance and then black for something like a lot of the time I, I'm using black zip ties on my truck. Uh, something falls off or is hanging down underneath, especially on the excursion. I use a black zip tie to just tie it up quickly and deal with it later. And it doesn't, you know, jump out at anybody, but uh, zip ties, I don't really need to go into too much detail. They're infinitely useful. And I like having bright colors and dark ones as well. But finally, in this same little gear tie category, these things are one of my favorite things. I've got rolls of these everywhere. These are, I don't know if these are Velcro brand, but they are hook and loop cable ties. So for example, these long cables, you really want to keep them neat and tidy. You run this around and this is nothing new, but I'm showing you in case you haven't seen these before because you should have them. So run it around, tie it to the cable, keep it neat and tidy. These things are great. I use them for cable management, for my TV, my desk, for my bag, I use these for so much and they come in these spools and they're pretty cost effective. They are awesome. So any or all of these should be in your bag at any given time. I'm not too picky, but just some way to organize and tie things up. All right, you guys probably guess what's next. Well, probably not, but like, I feel like a lot of people are gonna roll their eyes when they see this. <laughs> the next item on the list. It's a sling, okay? You don't have to say the bum bag. I don't have to say the bum bag, a sling. The reason I say that you should have a sling in your backpack is because I use this like a pouch. A lot of people in the EDC world have pouches like this Data Crew or Vanquist or this uh, AGP from Notorious or this garage built gear pouch. There are so many pouches. I have hundreds of pouches, but you know what I do with them? I don't, I don't really actually use them all that much. Uh, as you can see, I have a bunch of them and there's nothing in them. What I use is this and I use it just like a pouch, right? I throw this in my backpack and I keep all my things in it and it's a pouch. It's the same thing. It doesn't open up all the way, but it's a pouch. And then the reason I use this over those is because it has a strap on it. This is a pouch with a strap. It's infinitely more useful because it has a strap. So I throw this in my bag and I put what I need into it 
and then I don't have to worry about carrying it. But if I don't want to carry my whole bag, then I bring this. It's simple. It's great. You should have a sling in your backpack. And the reason I say sling is because all of these slings fit inside my backpack just fine. This is the Data Crew Snack Time Sling. Look, it fits. Well, let me move my. It fits inside this outside pouch just fine. Closes up and zips just fine. So I can use this one. It's got organization inside. It works just like a pouch, but it has a strap. The Vertex Long Walk Waste Pack fits perfectly fine. The Vanquist Dendrite, it works perfectly fine if you don't have this big old bottle pocket on it, which I don't always have on there. But all of them fit just fine inside my bag. They fit in every bag I've carried, and it's just better for me to have that inside my bag, use it as a pouch, leave my backpack behind and take that with me. I mean, it's just common sense at this point. The next to last item on the list is a sling. The last item on the list is either a small container or a small pouch to keep little micro items in. So you can go soft pouch to keep your little knickknacks and bits and bobs inside, or you can go with a hard container like an Altoids tin. I sell this nesting set that has an Altoids tin, a smaller one inside that, or this larger one. And uh, inside mine, I have a little screwdriver set, little 711L screwdriver that's ratcheting with some uh, bits that I use frequently and an extension. Inside this one, it's like a little grooming kit. I've got uh, fingernail clippers, tweezers, a toothpick, file, just things for grooming. And then in these two, I have some medicine. I've got ibuprofen as well as Zyrtec. And then I also have mints, just various mints in this one. And those keep all these things nice and tidy inside my bum bag. You don't have to have this. You can use little small soft pouches whatever you want to use. The point is a small container that keeps the little itty bitty things in your bag from going everywhere. Because I ultimately always have little things like micro SD cards. I've got one of these full of micro SD cards. So some small container or pouch to hold all the little things in your bag. So that was the list and I felt like that was pretty solid, but I felt like there was one more thing. It's not something that everybody must have in their bag, but you should have it just because it's fun. I talked about this in my gift guide this year. Uh, this has been in my bag every day for months now. So this is the Ambernic RG353V. I talked about it in my holiday gift guide and it's been in my bag almost every single day for a month or two and it's awesome. Uh, I've been playing Mario with my daughter. I've been playing Zelda by myself and it's just a blast from the past. It's small, it's lightweight. And don't tell me that you enjoy playing mobile games. That's not true, nobody does. Uh, but this, now this is fun. Uh, it's just a, a riot and it takes me back to my childhood. I can play all those games that I miss playing. And as I mentioned in the gift guide, it, it not only makes me feel old, but also I feel as someone who's older and has a lot going on, this kind of retro gaming emulation feels a lot more approachable than some big AAA title games now. And it stays in your bag. And this battery life is awesome on this thing. It's just, if you got a few minutes, grab this and play a few minutes as Zelda or whatever. It's, it's been great. So I highly recommend a little retro gaming handheld like this for emulation. It's a lot of fun and uh, it's staying in my backpack. Absolutely. And my wife stole my other one. So that should tell you something. She hates video games and she stole my Miu Mini Plus. So get one of those, throw it in your bag and be amazed. So that's it. That is the 10 items you must have in your EDC backpack. Let me know how you think I did and what you carry in your bag that you think other people should have in theirs as well in the comments down below. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, carry on.